Alright, hello YouTube, and um, I've been getting some requests on making an, an engine tutorial, I've never really gotten around to doing it, but one of my friends told me that they might be quitting Gary's mod because they can't make a decent engine, so um, I just thought I'd hop on today and give you a, just a tutorial on how to make an engine. So first you're going to want to spawn one of these uh, one by one blocks. Um, next what you want to do is get your stacker tool out. All settings zero, count one, prop up. Like that. Um, get easy precision out and set the nudge amount to 47 and then just right click on the top and there's our engine block and the crank now get your weight tool out set the weight to 50,000 and set both weights to 50,000 um, get out your access center tool um, tick no collide all turning zero don't tick move first prop don't tick rotation direction blah 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 click on the side of the crank and then the block so now that's able to spin all right get your easy precision rotate targeted prop now Go into console and type easy precision rotation 11.25 and now we're going to rotate it. So basically what that command just did was every time you move your mouse it rotates at 11.25 degrees. So you're going to want to rotate at 45 degrees so it's sort of like a diamond shape like that now you wanna go and spawn let's see four uh, little thrusters with a multiplier of let's just say one yeah get your weight tool out set more at 50,000 Get your easy precision slider out. Uh, move target and rotate target are ticked. And slider one to the top of the block. Set your nudge amount to 90. And just right click the top of the piston and it will go down like that. Uh, now get your rope tool out and rope the top of the piston to the bottom of the crank just like that now what you're going to do is you're going to get your no collide tool out and right click no collide your piston now you will unfreeze the piston get your easy precision rotate out and rotate the crank 45 degrees clockwise just like that and um keep repeating the same thing until you get four pistons done Oops.
Okay, so once you finish doing all that, get your TB's duplicated tool out, dupe the engine, spawn the dupe, and you always use the dupe, you don't use the original one. Set weight to 50. Make each piston weigh 50. Set the weight to 500. We'll make the block weigh 500 and the crank 500. Now just unfreeze everything like that. And you have the mechanics done. Alright. So just any point, doesn't matter, just freeze the crank just like that so the one piston is at the top um now you want to go out and get your e2 tool out and i will post the code of this in the description now just paste the expression on the side of uh, the crank um, Get your arithmetic add gate out, paste that. Uh, get two numpads out, uh, one with low power and one with high power. Now get your GPS tool out, and it's a ha the GPS tool has to be directly in line with the expression. Um, so I'm just going to paste it here, just above the expression. And I can barely see my numpads. Okay, now get your wire advance tool out. Wire A from the add gate to... Uh, oh, that's a fail. I'll just have to respawn my inputs here. Y A from your add gate to one numpad and B to the other. So basically when you press one numpad it's that value and when you press the other one at the same time it increases that value. Just like that. Alright, now what you want to do get your wire tool out, wire throttle to the add gate, wire GPS vector to the GPS vector vector. Now wire the A of top, the top piston to H1 on the E2 just rotate it clockwise and then wire A of the piston to H2 rotate it again and wire A to H3 rotate it again and wire A to H4 and ta -da, you have a working engine now that's uh it's not very high power obviously um, instead of using numpads because this expression is very strange it doesn't like high numpad inputs so if you want really high power just set your force multiplier to 10 and force maximum to 10,000 and just update it. Oh, whoops. Like that. And you will have a pretty extremely powerful engine. Oh. And to um, stop that crazy spaz of the uh, E2 gate, center axis, click on the face of the E2. Oops. Click on the face of the E2, then the engine block. And then, yes, it shouldn't move like that. And that, my people, is how you make a quick, easy, powerful little light engine. Thank you for watching the shitty tutorial.